the carrot. At last, I'm breathing well in the company of great people, people following a future that is fun, people carrying a lamp when it gets dark, and people creating a world that is better than the stick, because the stick is humorless and cowardice-filled. Good grief! It deserves to be left behind. Good riddance. We don't need you now. Goodbye. Grateful to be spending my time under the sun, in conversation with the wise, people that matter, people that enjoy life for the pleasure of who gave it, free and unveiled. With them, I find no shortage of new ideas, new reasons, and desire to create more art, art that celebrates, art that builds. Art that takes risks by actually having something to answer to the horror. Art that doesn't blindly negate because it actually understands classical connections. Art that doesn't waste time thinking about a list of things it doesn't want to believe. Art that doesn't waste energy focusing on what it cannot trick. Art that is not the stick. But the carrot that gives the lost what they've always wanted to follow, because deep down inside, they actually want to be happy. They actually want to be free. But they've been waiting, waiting, waiting in the fog to smell the carrot and follow that which is fundamentally attractive.